Alligator Bayou is a novel for young adults written by Donna Jo Napoli, initially published in 2009 by Wendy Lamb Books. Drawing inspiration from real events, the narrative unfolds in the small town of Tallulah, Louisiana, during the summer of 1899. The story revolves around Calogero Carlos Galice, a recently arrived Italian immigrant who has come to live with his uncles and cousins. Set against a backdrop of racial tensions and anti-immigrant sentiments prevalent in Tallulah, 14-year-old Kahlo endeavors to adapt to American customs and assimilate into the local culture. Kahlo finds himself among six Sicilian immigrants residing in the isolated Bayou community, far removed from others who resemble or speak like them. In a time when prejudice against Sicilians in America is at its peak, they stand out conspicuously. Kahlo's uncles, namely Francesco, Carlo, and Giuseppe, operate several stores in the Tallulah area, frequently encountering the anti-Sicilian prejudice prevailing in the town. Despite the bigotry they face, the family strives to integrate and uphold moral values whenever possible. At one juncture, Francesco witnesses a white local man mistreating his own family. Francesco intervenes, attempting to discourage the unkind behavior and even brandishing a gun. However, Carlo believes that Francesco's actions are extremely perilous and only serve to fuel the already burning flames of hatred in Tallulah. Furthermore, Francesco becomes a target within the community due to his refusal to treat African-American customers differently from white customers at his stores. The white residents, considering themselves superior, demand preferential treatment, but Francesco disagrees and persists in treating all customers equally, regardless of their race. Another source of conflict arises between Francesco and Dr. Hodge, the town's doctor. Francesco's goats, which he owns, roam freely and trample on Dr. Hodge's porch throughout the night, disturbing his sleep. This exacerbates the tension between them. The novel delves into the challenges faced by Kahlo and his family as they navigate a hostile environment. It explores themes of prejudice, cultural assimilation, and the struggle to do what is right in the face of adversity. As Hodge's anger escalates and his temperament reaches a breaking point, the white residents of Tallulah intensify their racist taunts towards Kahlo and his family. Despite Kahlo's family's efforts to befriend and treat black individuals in town as equals to the white community, the white residents perceive their actions as agitating unrest among people of color. They believe that this provokes the simmering hostilities resulting from the oppression and terror inflicted upon them by the white majority. Amidst this mounting trouble, Kahlo grapples with understanding the peculiarities of American customs while yearning for his younger brother, Rocco, who remains in Sicily. After yet another night of sleeplessness, Dr. Hodge reaches his breaking point and ruthlessly kills Francesco's goats. Although this deeply saddens Francesco, he refrains from retaliating against Dr. Hodge. However, Carlo, who is typically the peaceful one, unleashes a verbal assault on the doctor. In a fit of fury, Dr. Hodge physically attacks Carlo and then fires a shot at Giuseppe. Thankfully, the bullet misses its mark, but Giuseppe retaliates, shooting Dr. Hodge in the leg. Unfortunately, the shooting only serves to exacerbate the racial and ethnic tensions within the town. An enraged group of white residents sets off towards the slaughterhouse with the intention of murdering Kahlo's uncles and his young cousin, Cerrone. Realizing his helplessness as an immigrant boy in a volatile southern town, Kahlo understands that he can only save himself. Consequently, he decides to escape into the bayou, knowing that several men from the town, accompanied by their vicious dogs, are hot on his trail. With the angry mob and their dogs closing in, Kahlo makes a logical decision and leaps into the swamp. After the pursuing group gives up their chase, Kahlo is discovered in the bayou by Joseph, an acquaintance of his. Kahlo learns the devastating news that the furious mob succeeded in killing his family. Overwhelmed with grief, he spends the day with Joseph, who provides comfort and sustenance during this trying time. Recognizing the urgency of Kahlo's need to leave Tallulah in order to survive, Joseph becomes instrumental in helping him devise an escape plan. Together, they prepare a canoe stocked with essential provisions, intending for Kahlo to paddle down the river towards Baton Rouge and Tantapaho Parish. Faced with doubts about his ability to reach his destination, Kahlo finds encouragement in Joseph's reminder of a crucial truth, he is free and capable of making choices that will shape his future. Joseph emphasizes that Kahlo has the power to become whatever he chooses.
Empowered by this newfound understanding, Kala bids farewell to Joseph and embarks on his journey down the river in the canoe. His thoughts revolve around his longing to reunite with his brother Rocco and his unwavering determination to one day return to the small bayou town that has inflicted deep wounds upon him. In an afterword accompanying the story, Napoli sheds light on the true events that inspired the narrative, the Tallulah lynching of 1899. She draws upon first-hand accounts and testimonies from witnesses and participants in the lynching to craft her story. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.